YouTube, what it do, man? Your boy S14, man. What's going on? It's your boy S14. Um, man, I, I was, I was like really, you know, thinking about, you know, how my life is, and you know, and how I'm doing. But I was always, I'm always like, I'm, I'm one of those people who just like overthinks, not overthinks in a bad way, but always like thinking about his future or thinking about, you know, the next move in life in general. And actually too, my boy, Jesse, he, uh, he was like kind of warning me about like certain things, like especially to job wise. Was like right now, like, like I said, like I'm, I'm doing great. And like I'm always posting on the tube and everything. But I always had to think about like, you know, I'm working a lot for now, but when he come back, they may like, you know, shut down my hours and all this, but I wouldn't mind, but you also too, you know, you don't oh that's just my gas cap. Like I'm always thinking about too, you know, like damn man, you know, a job ain't ain't gonna protect ain't gonna help you out like that you know what i'm saying especially too with this skin tone and i'm not trying to be like my job is racist but you know they gotta jobs always gotta take care of them you know what i'm saying and that's what they that's what they most likely do like i could i do my job every time like at la fitness but you know how people are you know if you don't fit in with that group you know you're you gonna get the scraps you're gonna get the leftovers and man and and that's not really what this video is about but one thing the struggle has taught me is man it's like you know you always have to look out for you like you know what i'm saying if you a young man who's in their teens I, I'm, I'm gonna go back to like high school days if you in your teens or in college you should be well or let's say you just working a job you should definitely be uh grinding for you like you should always have something for yourself going on like honestly when i was watching john stally interview on dj vlad he said this country is designed to be entrepreneurship and you know you know nobody in my family taught me about that i i don't know what it was like but when i was young i used to sell snacks like when i was in fifth grade because I had an idea about it, like how can I make my own bread? You know what I'm saying? I don't have to steal Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But you know, that that kind of right there kind of taught me an entrepreneurship and and just just life in general, man. You know what I'm saying? When I couldn't afford good clothes in high school, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I I, I knew I could dress. In my mind, I, I knew I could dress, but I just didn't have the money. Even even at my job, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just take it back. Um, they, you know, people would always disrespect me, laugh at me, and you know, what I'm saying, just for the thrills of it, tell me I wasn't gonna do nothing. And I, they didn't know what I was doing. They didn't know I was doing Twitch acting and modeling. They didn't know all that. But you know, that's one thing the struggle has taught me, man, is always, you know, do for you and always stay away from you know bad people. You know, this is just life experience. And that that's what I suggest all men to do. So you can, you know, have something where you can stay, you can have your own income, your own passive income. You can run your own rules. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's built to, you know, run a tube or, you know, have their own business or, you know, investing and all that. Like, I didn't just like watch videos like, oh, Stephens Cole has his own business. I'm going to do my own. Like, life taught me how to, in, in like, weird ways taught me how to get my own money and it was great you know what i'm saying i was i was young bro young like making hella hella money for my age and damn bro slow down and that's what the struggle taught me you know you you gotta you gotta do for yourself do 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 what's best for you because not everybody come on now i got i drive a gun slow your shit down anyway like you gotta do that like, 
Like I said at my job, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place like space, but I wouldn't get promotions. Why? Because I wasn't kissing up to, you know, these managers' asses. This is in my old job for nine years. I was taking bull crap, getting disrespected, um, you know, negative people talking to the supervisor in here and the supervisor will listen to them. I wasn't getting that. People like, I'm, I'm going to say their names, people like David Wright and, and Richie Gonzalez tell me oh, I ain't going to be nothing, I ain't going to get anything um, because I didn't get like a good promotion. Even, even then, I wasn't getting good promotions, bro. I wasn't getting it. I didn't even care because I knew what I wanted to do. But, you know, when you're in that world and when all they think about is, oh, I'm, I'm doing better than you because I get paid than you, you got to you gotta stay clear from that, man. And that's that's what the struggle taught me, man. You got you to gotta stay clear away from that because their mindset is what they're getting now. Like me, personally, I didn't listen to that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't listen to none of that. That's why I tell um, all men they got to grind on their videos, man. They, you know what I'm saying? I'm mean, not grinding on their videos. Grind in life. I'm not talking about working two jobs. Just what if both those jobs fired? You ain't got nothing to fall back on. You ain't got nothing. You have no purpose for yourself. Like, like, like last year, I ain't had no girl, but there was a lot of dudes who got these beautiful women, but they job, they'd be like, yo, we don't need you right now. This pandemic messing us up. You lost your job, your girl gonna leave you. What if I had a job and I was working at a factory job? My girl, like, my girl would listen to no, no, I'm sorry. A girl would listen to a toxic dude who's making way more and got a better car. You know what she gonna do? So far, I'm sorry, this ain't gonna work for you. This ain't working for us. I don't, I don't, I don't find you attractive no more. She was like, I'm, she, she gonna lie to you and tell you, oh, um, oh, I, I, I want to focus on me. No, she want to focus on um, a guy with more money, a guy who look better than you, or, or whatever. That's why I tell guys, you have to create your own world. Create, create your own. You know your own lifestyle be the best version of yourself man and that's that's what the struggle taught me you know what i'm saying why why everybody and like when i was watching when i was on my live stream last night i was watching this one video stuff is cold man me and him could relate i mean he didn't he told people he was going to start his own business but they laughed at him but they got a clock in sad every day and that's what i was going through you, you feel me like People, I'd be just like in my own world, in my own zone, and then, like I said, those people like Rich Gonzalez and and David Wright tell me, "Oh, you ain't gonna be nothing. You need to stop, Daydream. You need to wake up and this, that, and the third. Now I'm, I'm I'm already woken up. You know what I'm saying? You just you just somewhere else. I'm two that I'm twenty thousand years ahead of you, but you just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like I'm not gonna go back. It's like that Jay Z theory. Like I'm not going. You're trying to go like this with me. I'm going like, nah, I'm not. And I'm going this way. I'm not doing that with you. An average idiot do that. I'm, I'm walking away from you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell people in my videos, stay away from people like that. Because all they want to do is just um, bring you. They either want to bring you down here or they want to just leave you here. Meanwhile, they up there. Life is life is a war, bro. And you got to you gotta do what's best for you. Because if you're not, you end up in the street people people gonna look at you crazy like i don't have no i don't have no kids or no girl and i don't plan on it you know what i'm saying i you know I, I i gotta i gotta look out for me like i'm saying with this job like you know what i'm saying i could be i could be a great worker but i don't fit their world like i'm not i'm not trying to be racist like you know them smash people they gotta take care for themselves but i always say i gotta look out for me you know what I'm saying? And, and they gonna help my homie out. Like, me and him, we're cool, but at the end of the day, we still gotta look out for ourselves. We gotta eat. You know, friendships don't put food on the table, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Friendships, we gotta, we gotta look out for ourselves. When I see Benson, like, for instance, he's, he doing his thing, but, you know, you make another company survive, but that's cool. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, shout out to everyone who's doing what's best for them. Like, I don't doubt, look down on people who, oh, you want to work a job for the rest of your life. I don't do that. Not over here. Not on my channel. I don't look down on the next man. Uh-uh. I don't ever do that. But. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I, I'm making it. Oh, crap. 
But, you know, I, I just have my own ways of thinking things. And I'm not going to bring him down and be like, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. If you want to do what's best for you, go ahead. But what I'm saying is what the struggle taught me is I got to do what's best for me. Every man should always have their own thing going for him. You can't just wake up, go to work, um, go to the gym twice a week, and go back home and go to sleep. That That's not cutting it. That's not cutting it. To me, in my world, in my world, it doesn't. And this is before the AMS, so this is before Steph is cold, this is before the flexes and the MJs. Do what's best for you. Stop worrying about females, stop worrying about other people. You gotta worry about yourself, man. That's what the struggle taught me. The struggle taught me a lot. That's why even, even now, hold, hold on, this is, uh, whatever. That's what, that's what the struggle taught me. You always got to look out for you. That's why I was like sitting back thinking, man. I'm like, dang, man. I got to really put in this work on YouTube. I mean, I've always been doing that, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just like we got to keep pushing, bro. Got to keep pushing. Got to keep doing these workouts at the gym. Got to do these photo shoots, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just because you good for now don't mean you're going to be good next week. Like, that. that's how I look at things. I'm always, I, like, you don't ever want to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen what happens with dudes who get comfortable. Well, two people I mentioned, one of them got fired for fighting with the same dude you, you're talking down about people on. And the other dude, he he's still angry and bitter. But what does that say right there? That's what, this, that's what the struggle taught me, man. You know what I'm saying? That, I, mean, I just had to get that out. I had to get that off my mind, off my chest. So, you know guys man you know embrace your struggles bro i'm still going through a struggle i'm doing good but i'm still struggling because i want more understand that guys i'm out